Get ready to say goodbye to everything you thought you knew about the concept of time. A new research study has come to the astonishing conclusion that time does not actually exist. Instead, it's merely an illusion caused by quantum entanglement. But what is behind this drastic assumption? Today, we'll show you what's behind this sensational study and why this new view of time could revolutionize not only some contradictions in physics, but also our understanding of the universe. Let's start with a simple yet profound question. What is time anyway? Well, a certain Albert Einstein once approached this complex topic as follows. Quote, For us physicists, the distinction between past, present, and future is nothing but an illusion, albeit a persistent one. Subjective time, with its insistence on the now, has no objective meaning. And indeed, the more we delve into this topic, the clearer it becomes that what seems so mundane and self-evident in our everyday lives could not be more mysterious. Usually, time is nothing more than a few numbers on a clock or a specific day on the calendar. But we tend to completely ignore the question of what it actually is. Most of us would probably even find it difficult to describe what time actually is. Is it physically tangible? Where in space is time? Well, let's take a look at what the experts have to say on the subject. By definition, time is a physical quantity that describes the sequence of events in a clear, irreversible direction. And that applies to literally everything. Even the universe moves not only spatially, but also temporally, more precisely, from its beginning, the Big Bang, to its end. In other words, time is strictly linear. And American physicist John Wheeler once said that time is what prevents everything from happening at once. However, it's also clear that time still presents us with enormous challenges and that it may be something completely different from what we have thought so far. As mentioned at the beginning, a new study has now come to the almost unbelievable conclusion that time is not actually a fundamental pillar of the universe at all, but merely an illusion resulting solely from quantum entanglement. But what does that mean in concrete terms? Does something like the beginning and end of our video not exist at all? And do we now have to delete terms like seconds, minutes, and hours from our dictionaries? Well, unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. To understand why time continues to be the focus of countless scientific debates, we first need to understand the different approaches available to experts. First, there is Einsteinian physics which explains the processes of the cosmos on a large scale. Opposed to this, however, is quantum mechanics, which deals with events on a small scale and often seems to contradict classical physics. Let's take a look at Schrodinger's cat, a famous thought experiment by the physicist Erwin Schrodinger from 1935. In this experiment, a cat is locked in a box with a lethal poison capsule, but no one knows when the poison will be released. Against this backdrop, the cat can be considered both dead and alive at the same time, because its state would only change to one of the two states upon direct observation. But what prompted Schrodinger to come up with this thought experiment in the first place? Well, quite simply, he wanted to demonstrate the incompatibility of quantum mechanical and classical physical principles. After all, a cat cannot be dead and alive at the same time. On Superpositions and Quantum Entanglement the exciting thing is that quantum mechanics actually recognizes such superpositions. For example, the superposition of different states. Only when a measurement or observation is made does the corresponding system assume one of the superimposed states. But that's not all. Quantum entanglement also has a firm place in quantum physics. In normal quantum theory, particles do not have a definite state. Instead, they can only be assigned relative probabilities of being in one state or another. And as mentioned above, this only changes in the course of an observation or measurement, when the particle assumes one of the states corresponding to these probabilities. This all sounds rather mysterious, but it becomes even stranger when two particles interact with each other, because then they can even become entangled. This means that their individual probabilities are no longer independent of each other, but are linked. The two particles now form components of a complex probability function that describes both of them equally. To illustrate this, let's look at the following example. In an experiment to demonstrate entanglement, two electrons are generated simultaneously, and their spin, or in other words, their intrinsic angular momentum, 
is measured in two different devices. Ultimately, it turns out that the electrons have opposite spins, which is all the more astonishing given that, according to superposition, their state was not yet determined at all until the measurement was made. In detail, it was only the measurement that caused one particle to decide on one state and the other particle to decide on the other at the same time. Despite their spatial distance from each other, the two electrons are therefore to be understood as a coherent system. Fortunately, however, and this is not an insignificant point, quantum entanglement also violates the assumption of locality, which states that processes only have an immediate effect on their direct spatial environment. In quantum entanglement, however, the entangled particles can be light years apart and still be inseparably connected. Added to this is the fact that the spatially separated particles exchange their information instantaneously, or in other words, without any time delay. Against this backdrop, it is hardly surprising that Albert Einstein had extreme doubts about this so-called spooky action at a distance. After all, the exchange of information would have to take place at faster than light speed. But although the principle of quantum entanglement is undoubtedly very complex and confusing, it could hold some groundbreaking solutions and finally reveal to us what really lies behind what we generally refer to as time. Is time just an illusion of quantum entanglement? Fundamentally, time appears to be unchanging and external in quantum mechanical systems, whereas in Einstein's general theory of relativity, it can indeed be distorted by gravity and speed. In quantum mechanics, time therefore embodies a fixed phenomenon, an unstoppable flow from the past to the present. However, time remains outside the bizarre and constantly changing quantum systems and can only be recognized by observing changes in external entities, such as the hands of a clock. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, however, time is interwoven with space and can even be distorted and stretched. This fundamental contradiction makes it complicated, to say the least, to reconcile the two physical theories with each other. However, to solve the problem of the missing connection, researchers at the Italian National Research Council have decided to resort to a mechanism that was already proposed in 1983 by physicists Don Page and William Wooters. Specifically, the Page-Wooters mechanism postulates that time arises from a relationship between one object and another that serves as a clock. Against this backdrop, time for an object only comes into existence through quantum entanglement with another object that functions as a clock. But for a non-entangled system, there is no time at all, and the system perceives the universe as frozen and unchanging. By applying this mechanism to two theoretical quantum states, a vibrating harmonic oscillator and a group of small magnets serving as a clock, the scientists observed that their system could be described by the Schrodinger equation without explicit use of time. In the next step, the experts repeated their calculations twice, first assuming that the magnetic clock and then the oscillator represent macroscopic, or in other words, larger objects. Their equations simplified to those of classical physics, suggesting that the flow of time is a consequence of entanglement, even for objects on large scales. In view of their results, which were published in the journal Physical Review A, the researchers emphasized that the correct, and above all, logical, direction for them is to start from the quantum physics and understand how to arrive at classical physics from there, and not the other way around. However, other experts have expressed skepticism about this, although it's mathematically consistent to imagine universal time as entanglement between quantum fields and quantum states of 3D space. No one knows whether this picture will yield anything new or fruitful, such as modifications to quantum physics and general relativity. But if we simply assume that time ultimately does not exist as we have thought it does, what does that mean? How can we understand the world we live in without this fundamental factor? Sam Barron, an Australian professor at the University of Melbourne, once said, while physics abolishes time, it seems to leave causality intact the sense in which one thing can cause another. So perhaps physics is telling us that causality, not time, is the fundamental feature of our universe. And now you can easily convince yourself of this universal principle of cause and effect. If you click on the subscribe button now, you'll never miss another video from us. See you soon.